So now we have on. And this starts with what? It's like uh, a guitar chord yeah. on a loop sort of thing, isn't it? Guitar loop. Um, I think the, the aim for this song was to try and, you know, I, I, I've always been a real huge fan of um, Two Step Garage, <laughs> um, which I don't, know, I don't know what you call it in, in the States, um, like gangster, it's, 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 like, it's, it's got like a, a different title, but I've always been a big fan of it. not regga reggaeton, is it? Is no, 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 no. Um, it's like gangster step or something. Oh, okay. Um, but um, yeah, so I, w I really wanted to try something that kind of had that, that really had that sort of sound as opposed to just alluding to it. Um, and it had that, that, that kind of space, really. And it's kind of, yeah, and the, and the string arrangements, you know, on the song's really amazing. Um, it really kind of adds to this. I, do this rising sense of like claustrophobia in, in the song, this rising, this rising sense of sort of, of despair. I like what they did with this arrangement because yeah. um, when you have a string arranger in, you bring them in to, yeah. to listen to a song, you have to rely on their skills yeah. and their own kind of take on what you do. Yeah. And Obviously, thing, one of the things we we said or you said was yeah. for there to be like a discord. Yeah, I was listening to quite a lot of like Philip Glass, and I really wanted something that had that real kind of dizzying kind of feel that it was, you know that was this kind of, this kind of oscillating kind of as you, as you can kind of get it. Yeah, it makes you feel, it makes you feel slightly nauseous in the string section as well. But it's it's interesting that it kind of adds a whole different tone to the song, yeah. and it's almost like. Someone remixed it. Yeah. Because in our parts that we wrote, we're all yeah. kind of in key, and they come along yeah. and put in a yeah. an off-key note, and it just changes the song. But it's it's great to be able to to incorporate stuff like that because yeah. I don't think a lot of bands would necessarily think of to do that, you know. So it's allowing other people to come yeah. and put their mark on it as much as as your own. And then the strings start to swell and get more yeah. uh, kind of stringy, I suppose. It's a very uh, euphoric yeah. quality to, to how this song goes across. It sort of builds and builds, and it's a bit nauseating, but then it kind of breaks open, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a real kind of triumphant, real sort of, um, yeah, real kind of triumphant. Hands in the air yeah. moment. You too moment right at the end. It's, uh, it's, you know, and I really like the um, uh, White Lines S kind of bass line as well. That's got the, the, the kind of real sort of, you know, real insistent kind of funk, really. And it's quite quite apt and as well, if, you know, with the, you know, the, the theme, one of the themes of the record it, certainly is about... Drugs. Yeah. But it was actually not consciously done on my part for yeah. it to sound like white lines. I didn't notice till afterwards that it sounded a bit like white lines and people keep saying that to me. Um, but yeah, it, it works what it does. It's yeah. uh, it's the right space for the bass to be in. And then we've got these chords as well. Yeah. And actually put a bit of tremolo on the bass. Yeah. It's not easy to pick out, but if you actually listen, it kind of is a bit wobbly. And it's quite a co sort of cocktail twins sort of feel, which I really liked as we were recording it as you can now hear.